This is Super Producer Turbo. Also known as Run that back turbo. Drip too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' fuck around and drown off this way. He has produced for superstar rappers like Lil Baby, Travis Scott, Young Thug, Gunna, and many more. Top out the top, hit it in limits. I got some cash, I wanna spend. And today we're gonna talk about being one of the only producers to have a hundred percent of a diamond track. I'm like, oh! The YSL Rico case. Both Gunna and Young Thug are facing a Rico charge. But what is that? Who he thinks can go at it with him one-on-one -on -one in the verses, evolving in business, and how he really feels about Gunna. It's a lot of places, it's a lot of podcasts. But this is the experience. Yo, 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 welcome to the Experience Podcast. I'm your active and attractive host for another episode of the fastest growing podcast in the world. You know this right here, you got to have the experience to be on the podcast. You cannot come over here talking just to be talking. So today we got a legendary producer in the building, my guy Turbo. What's good, brother? Man, I'm all good, man. Appreciate you for having me. Man, I appreciate you stopping by, man. It's, it's always a pleasure to have the ones that actually had their footprints in the sand. For sure. You know, a lot of people talk, but ain't nobody executing. And you, sure. you, you one of them guys that executing. So, shout out to you, man. And I want to give you your flowers. Um, let's just jump into producing, man. How messy is it being a producer? Not, not far as drama, just the business side. I always hear about now you got loops where dudes are sending them and four or five people own it, and it's just a lot of internal things. What is that about? Right now, it's just loose. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't even call it messy. It's just loose. Like, it's it's very few people that's, like, respecting the art. You know what I mean? It's a lot of, like, you know, money, 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 and not moments. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So trying to sift through that is, is kind of difficult. And it's worth it, you know, to find the right people, the right group of people. But I would say it's just loose right now. Like you might think you got somebody that's on the same thing that you own and they ain't on that. Right. I know you must be providing something because they pull you out. It seemed like they pull you out the producer spot and damn near make you part of the family. Yeah. Like yeah. you got people like Gunner, Free Gunner, you know, yeah, for sure. all the people you've dealt with. What what you think you provide them that makes you different from when you're natural producer i mean shit bro they, they don't like everybody ain't real you know what i'm saying like for me and gunner specifically like that's that's just a different level of loyalty and love right there that just was was growed over time you know what i'm saying right. but even just with other people that i just like got love for and respect for like a like a roddy rich you know what i'm saying Shout like right. even when when all this kind of started with you know the the case or whatever you know what i'm right. saying he was the first one to reach out and we talked on the phone for an hour sure. you know what i'm saying yeah, just like real. just talking through the emotions and just like what's going on and you know he just just talking you know what i'm saying and it's like it's not a lot of that in this industry so right. you know for me i i live off that i can't i can't sit in nobody's space if we ain't if we right. ain't at least like if we don't both understand it yeah you know yeah, what i mean yeah. and so, i can feel that bro they pull you out yeah. how, how did you feel when they grabbed gunner man i couldn't believe it right you know what i'm saying like, i was i was there you know what i'm saying yeah. like he was he was and i don't you know i don't even want to go in super depth but it right. was just like mother's day Damn. you know what i'm saying so yeah. we had all just celebrated mother's day and you know you get the news and it's just like god damn like is this real TV 11 Alive newsroom about the gang indictment involving rappers Young Thug and Gunna. Ariana Moniz is in the studio with the details we learned less than 20 minutes ago. Sure, Aisha, we just learned from Fulton County jail records that rapper Gunna has been arrested. Now the records they show Sergio Kitchens was booked sometime in the last few hours on a RICO charge. Now, Kitchens is one of the 28 people named in the massive gang indictment, which claims he is an associate of Young Slime Live. Now, right now, we know he could have his first court appearance, rather, before a judge this morning. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's so unfortunate because when I look at it, it's like his involvement it's like how how he's being treated clearly yeah. is unfair. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? And I feel as though I've been plugged in with a couple of his people and um I've been sending a couple of words through, but I think that he's in a situation where he's being treated unfairly, bro. And I know people that love him can only feel that. You man, know what I'm saying? Man, we talk every day. 
if not every day, every two days. Shout and it's out like, to that. You know, it's it's just unfortunate, but we all know, you know what I mean? It's ups and downs yeah. to this shit, and we done had a lot of ups. Yeah. So, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. We always just talk about how it's in God's hands, yeah. and, you know, we just going with the motion, just going with the ups and downs. I yeah. just feel like it's a down, and we learning from it. Yeah, spirit high, though. Yeah, for you sure. You know, and a lot of times they hate to see us, you know, stand up under that pressure oh, they, they want to see that. you fold they yeah. hate that you can tell i see slime smiling in certain they things hate yeah, yeah yeah they, they try to break that. a man all of them they yeah. trying to talk and you know have yeah. conversation in the courtroom yeah. they hate that hey 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 hey. yeah they you don't even saying? want you saying brother i love you head up baby so you know and like they trying to cut that off it's for me. powerful yeah when you, when you look at it from like a bird's eye view it's like man they really don't want us to win man they really don't man, want us to, to I'm talking to, about orchestrating. They really don't want Man, that. I'm talking about orchestrating. Yeah, man. man. And it's just an eye opener. Like even, you know, for the younger people, it's like, hey, get your money. Yeah. And, and and stay out the way. Don't give these folks no reason to play with you because these boys is completely innocent and they still have the power to play exactly. with their lives. And they like even with some of the lyrics, it ain't even attaching them to crimes. They Come just on, man, what is a it's, lyric? it's really it's so weird, bro. Yeah. And the approach, like I was talking to a lawyer when NBA Young Boy, the lawyer that was up there with him, and uh he was telling me, he said that this has never been seen, how how the government is approaching this Rico is like a weird thing. This and is so, history. Yeah, it's like this they're breaking the mold. What the f is this? This is gonna be history. Some lyric? What? Whoa, whoa. And so for me, it cripples the artist because now what do you do with the other music? Because if you're using music in a in a way that's really unfair and you're painting things with music that's not true. Can I even drop music to feed my family while I'm in this unfortunate situation? It's like, it's, it's it just gives you one more thing to think about. Imagine Picasso, you know what I'm saying? If he just drew something negative, it's like, that's what's in his mind. And it's it's probably a bunch of people that relate to that. So you saying that these same artists, they can't speak about their environment. And, and not to mention, it's like, it's very, very hard to get to that level of your life to where you can speak to Reflect. so many people. Right. So it's like, how could you be playing but you got to be so focused to get to this point just to even touch that mm, many people. You know what like I'm saying? It's like you're looking at my muscles. It's clear I'm in the gym. You get what I'm saying? You yeah. don't get you don't get that type of pull from not really. Being halfway out here and halfway you know over saying? here. Yeah, you got to be dedicated. You got to be dedicated. Yeah. It's like everybody know what comes with dedication, time, sacrifice. Right. You know what I'm saying? Real, real focus. And I'm having that, man. Like I was telling bro, it's like coming through the airport, right? So I'm traveling. I like to be by myself for a number of reasons, yeah. right? And um, and so I'm traveling and I'm pushing up on this, I'm running into this, and I'm thinking to myself, bro, this game is dangerous, man. For sure, more you, than ever. And, and and you put yourself in a situation where you look at them and they mishandle the things we say, the way we dress, what we mean. It's all kind of confusion next to us. For sure. And I wonder, like, you being next to people while they in their rawest form, people like Gunna Thug, Baby, all these dudes, because when they writing, that's their rawest place. For sure. A artist's rawest place is right there. They scribbling out. Nah, that don't hit. Like... What is that feeling like in the yo with them type people or you being a creative? Because I look at you as a creative For more sure. than just a producer. For sure. Man, I, I I I don't know. Like, I don't try to think about it too much, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like coming up, that's when it was the best. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we didn't really have to think too much. So I'm trying to just hone in on that same feeling. Like, if we got it you know, doing these things, like you come and you have whatever emotions or whatever, yeah. I'm not treating you any different. I don't expect right. you to treat me any different. You know what I mean? And just approach every situation like that. Right. And some people it don't go that way and some people it do. And it shows in the music. Right, right. And I got to, what I was going to say too is coming through the airport, I got a newfound respect for right because yeah. i'm doing this by myself yeah coming from the street it get easy hustling yeah right once you get to a certain level it's really repetition at this point and yeah. just trying not to get caught but coming through the airport it's more like i'm hustling for this i said oh this what nigga had to go through this what they be talking about when they say now nah, this blood sweat and tears for bro sure. like traveling and oh i missed the flight i got a book or nothing oh the hotel dang you understand how oh, that's happening and i think that when you say the beginning how do you even keep yourself close to that with so much success bro i mean for me i stay close to my family i stay close to myself yeah. you know what i'm saying my morals the shit that i that i believe in the shit 
that I'm not going for, like all that is in the forefront of my brain when anything comes, a big check comes, some somebody Rihanna walked by anything, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like all of these people, even myself, like we humans. Right. So I just try to hone in on that, bro. Like I don't even feel like I reach my full potential or even halfway. You know right. what I'm saying? What is so, your do you know what your full potential is? Man, it, it, I feel like I know everybody will know. You know what I mean? Right. I'm trying to create like a a real legacy right you know what i'm saying right. not just a moment not just a time like really like a real legacy a real footprint just like how they get them folks them stars you know what i'm for saying sure. like that's gonna be there for forever for sure so i'm just trying to create my own star my own my own place in the sand so for sure you know I, I i know i ain't reached it yet i definitely done changed the mold of my family and that was a big thing for me that's so important especially for us Man, that, we I, wear that. I got lost yeah after i was able to do stuff for my grandmother was was just like my full fledged inspiration. You know what I'm saying? And like my mom, my sisters, my brothers. Like once I got that off of my list, I was down there lost. Right. You know what I'm saying? You like accomplished it. I now, what? now I got to write a whole new list, and, mm. it, and it's still I'm still writing. It's still taking some time, but you know, like I know that that shift is happening now. We got a foundation. That's dope. And I'm just trying to build from that point on, build my own skyscraper. That's so dope, though, man. That's so dope to hear because it's important that youngsters understand that you need a plan for after your plan is reached. Nah, for sure. Right, so it's some planning going. I got a plan and a plan for after this plan for going sure. to fit. Nah, for sure. You know, because like you say, you'll find yourself like, nah, I just won't get mama them out the hood, get everybody a big boy mansion, get the business running, make this much a year, and then you be like, yo, I'm doing this and I'm coasting. So now what? Damn, hey, throw me another, I'm juggling, throw me another. Sure. For throw sure. me something else in this small for sure. you and you got to throw it to yourself can't yeah, nobody they the, show okay the wrong nigga could throw, Ooh, throw you a, a, throw a all that off you get what i'm saying now you done fumbled everything Ooh, yeah. Ooh that's good game nah, for sure that's good game well do you make more money off your uh just like i know shout out to gun and baby again drip too hard in you mm -hmm. uh just did a diamond for sure do you make more money off those big records or do you make more money off of, let's say, a record that may have went gold, but you may, I guess I'm speaking to the ownership of something so huge as a record that big. And yeah, it's just that. It depends on what you own. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. that, let's, let's just circle back to, you know, what's going on now where it's like, you know, you might get a loop from a little homie that's, that's you know, in Canada or somebody, you know, somewhere, anywhere. Right. And he send it to you and it's hard and it's time to clear, but you find out that it's three people that's attached to this. And y'all gotta bust it down a certain way. You know, in, in in that instance for that song, just like glory to God, like I did it all myself. Ooh. So I get a a, a, a lot yeah. of big checks just off of that, but Man, um, glory to God. Nah, for, for that. sure. Yeah. For sure. So it's it that was like a lesson learned. But yeah, it's just it's just like having a pop song and a hip hop song. Like you know them pop songs that it's gonna be way bigger bags. It just it's not really the certification. It's like how much did you do? How much do you exactly. own? You know That's what I'm saying? Why I guess just I was like any type to, yeah. of business. Just right. like anything. If you if, if you own hundred percent of a business, then you getting a yeah. hundred percent of the pay. You know what I mean? If you own thirteen percent of the business, you might get 13% of a billion, that's still a lot of money. Man, that's a big bank. You bro. get what I'm saying? Or you yeah. might get 13% of a thousand. So it just depends on how, how well how the much business, business is, is going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that makes sense. And I think producers, one thing I'll give y'all is that y'all seem to be more business orientated than rappers. You got to be. From even a even a under, underground standpoint, yeah. you'll see even, well, may, maybe this is a good question. Who gets more opportunity, an underground producer or underground rapper? I think Turbo. I think Turbo can be reached, and and you can get a placement through Turbo as an underground producer quicker than you can get a verse from Ghana as an underground oh, yeah. rapper. Oh yeah, hell yeah, definitely because hell yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just on the rap. Sh it's like they got to see potential to be able to just like do something for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. As far as a producer. Just like I said, like that's the golden time. Yeah. So it's like it ain't gonna be hard dealing with you know somebody new that's that still got that drive in them as opposed to somebody that done made a million dollars and you know they feel they got their ego and all that yeah. type yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Do you deal with egos in this game? Hell yeah, every day. How you deal with them? Man, grain of salt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I I deal with my own ego. 
You know what I mean? And when to apply it and when not to. So That's big. It's, it's it's situational, but That's it's big. it's 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 bad right now. Like you dealing with egos from you know, managers and A and R's and yeah. artists and people that's attached to the person that's doing all the work. Right, right. You know what How I'm saying? Now I don't be liking all them glorified bean counters. Man, it's like you know what I'm man, saying? It, it's 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 hard, especially to a strong n- like me. Yeah. It's like, man, you wouldn't be this if it wasn't for for this person. Right. Like have some some humbleness about Have you something. ever gotten a situation where you had to clarify that with somebody in the industry? Yeah. Like, hey man, you, you you ain't even definitely yeah, yeah it's that de- and, and and recently you know yeah. what i'm saying where it's like you gotta you gotta come on and and tell it what it is you know what i'm saying because if it wasn't for me what i'm definitely definitely noticing like it takes that one person to get somebody mind right because it ain't nobody that's willing Gonna to tell do them it. yeah yeah you know what i mean some people you gotta break the code yeah yeah, yeah. so it's like still try to do it in the most respectful way but it's like yeah i done definitely had to do that I seen what uh, Glorilla had a song when I think Hit Kid. Yep. The, is that the song? Yeah, shout out and to Hit. Ha- shout out to Glorilla and Hit. Mm-hmm. I think they um, had a situation where, I guess I want to speak about, can a producer own a song that a rapper is rapping on? Yeah. 100%. Um, It wouldn't be right. You right. know what I'm saying? He had done but, some shady business, but it could happen. They, you could sign over those rights. I wouldn't even say it's shady. It just depends on, you if know what I'm saying? If he wrote it, if or he what, what he did, it. what he... It, it, man, it's 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 a lot about what you did, and it's a lot about, like, you know what I'm saying, how much you put into something as to, in my opinion, it's like how much you deserve or how much you own. So, you know, I don't really know their situation, but, yeah, that right. can happen. Right, that can yeah. happen. Mm-hmm. What it, What do you think, shade, what is something shady that happens with producers? What's, like, a shady move that for a young producer to identify? When you know that this person doesn't know something and you take advantage of them. And, and just for example, you know what I'm saying, like, every producer starts off or everybody you start off and you don't know you know right, what i mean right. and you'll have to either educate yourself before the success or somebody will have to put you down on something or you will have to just take the l but you're going to learn so imagine you know i get my first hit or whatever and you know i i do a deal with somebody you know i'm doing a deal with you and I use your your lawyer. Right. I don't go get my own lawyer to speak on my behalf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know better than that because you've been doing business. Right, right, right. But I don't know that. Exactly. You You know what I'm saying? Hey, your lawyer, look over this for me. Yeah, because I'm first thing as a producer, I'm looking at it like I don't I don't want to have to pay no lawyer, not knowing not knowing that you can put them on a retainer. You know what I'm saying? Or I don't want to have to go find a lawyer. It's just it's I don't understand it. So let me just ask my folks. Right. Hey, let me use your folks. Plug you right in. But you should know, like, hey. No, nah, don't do that. Let me just help you. You know what I'm saying? You get your own people. So once you do learn that this is how it's supposed to go, you ain't gonna never look at you like, damn, he 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 did some bullshit to me right. back then when I didn't know. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's it's a lot of those type of situations, whether it's with publishing or yeah. managing or you know what I'm saying, who owns what and what was what. It's like when you know better and you take advantage of somebody, I feel like that's shady. Right, you know what I'm right. saying. You ain't gonna, you so, ain't gonna last long. So like, if I got a song, if I got a song, you made the beat. I'm up and coming. Mm-hmm. You know, you are who you are. Mm-hmm. So you can reach people that I can't reach mm-hmm. as a young artist. See that? That's where sh- gets sticky because mm-hmm. now it's like, dude, my value stamping this song can put it in a place, mm-hmm. and then you'll argue that my talent put the song in a place where you even feel like stamping it puts it in a like. It's a weird thing that happens like that's when it's everything needs to just be fair yeah i can't take i can't take it all because shit, i needed you right you know what i mean and, and that's just my opinion some people might look at it different i'm still learning you know what i'm saying everything right. but in my opinion it's like you know in situations like that let's just make it fair and keep working right because this ain't the that's end the point though keep scoring keep going keep yeah. putting numbers up yeah. on the board like yeah. this ain't the end so i'm never gonna argue to the death with somebody about something it's like you know if if that's how you feel or if i had a discrepancy with somebody it's like okay you'll take the bigger half but i'm never working with you ever again 
Right. So we'll see, like, right. was I you putting the numbers up? Off. You get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Or could you do it by yourself? Because right. just like how you said with traveling, it's a whole lot more work that coming to this producing than me just making a beat. Right, right. I got to get it to the artist. Right. I got to make sure they drop make it. I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, post production, yeah. Yeah. lawyer, managers, all these different people that you have to deal with with a smile. Right. In a certain way, it's an art yeah. of dealing with this industry, yeah, yeah. right? And a lot of people don't understand. That's what makes so many people effective. Um, you know, like we were just talking about over in Dubai, where it's like doing that level of business is like you got to be effective with to, to beating them is doing. It's yeah. like you got to be effective to even have those kind of conversations in a way where it's like, hey, I need you to understand the reach of this. Exactly. Right, and uh, explaining that it's an art to that. What What would you say um, is one of your biggest checks you ever cast? Man, why you gotta ask me that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like talking about money. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? But you know, uh, uh, seven figures. That's good enough. You know, Self, what I'm saying? that's good enough. Shit, we just want to make sure that you, you know, he, yeah, they it, clean you straight out. Oh that's nah, a, that motherfucker clear. Yes, Lord, oh, for sure, and it's yes, all Lord. a blessing. <laughs> yes, Lord. You know, I always peep with you that you you seem like somebody that's playing and you ain't playing. Not it's a sure. difference between planning and playing. It seemed like you playing. I heard. I think you say that Savage. You might have told Savage when he was looking for some beats. You told him one time, yo, I make beats. He didn't respond right then. Yep. You kept, you went back into playing your role. Yep, for sure. Young need to understand playing your role. And, and and do it good and do it consistent, man. Like, you'll get your shot, look at me. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Living <laughs> proof. <laughs> nah, for sure. You know, so what What was that about you that made you sit in the cut like that and know he don't get it right now? Ain't he going to, because a lot of people, they, they, feel, they emotionally attached to availability. You understand? So you right in their face, they feel like if I don't make the move right now, yeah. it may not never happen. Yeah, yeah, not that yeah. my work gonna keep me in these areas where these opportunities are present themselves. Yeah. It's like if I don't fade, Steve Harvey, for instance, was talking about a dude run up on him and just say, You wanna make twenty thousand a day or something wild. You don't wanna make no more money, you you know, you don't wanna make twenty like, Yeah, what was that? Why are you <laughs> yeah. wild, little nigga? Sure. Hey, you made anything? For sure. First question. First make you something, then talk to me about helping me. Because sure. I feel like you a little too generous helping me and ain't helped you. <laughs> right. Y'all sure. too generous helping me and ain't helped you. For sure. For you sure. see what I'm saying? But um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, about just being in the cut. Like, Yeah, what, what, what was that about, man? I mean, I'm already just like a laid back. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even say introvert because when I when I talk and when I trust people, I, I'm a talk. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I I just I always was a good soldier. You know what I'm saying? Like like bro, I done played every role. Like that was just the engineering conversation. That's bro, what I done I'm picked up niggas' bags. Yes. Yeah, you know Lord. what I'm saying? I done drove from here to Houston and back. That's what I'm saying. Slept in the car. We ain't got no hotel. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, plenty of things. Uh, recorded people all these cameras. I done been the camera. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Editing it. Final Cut Pro, like doing everything just to add value to whatever, Man, whatever I'm around. That's so deep, add value, and I think that that's so easy to say, and it may be hard for people to grasp what that means. You know, because yeah, we ain't paint too many pictures of what, right, what value right, is and right, how do you add right, value. Right, right, and that's like, why that's it's not important. the cool thing to yeah. do. You know what I mean? But that's really the cool thing. That's to the do. super cool thing yeah, to do. Sure. When you add value, you get paid. I wasn't. I, I was recording Gunner for a while. You know what I'm saying? And when I first, when I had first, because we all from the same neighborhood, but you know what I'm saying? When I first started coming around him, he had just got into some little trouble and they took his his drive. Mm. But this was right before DS3 came out. So so what we thought, we thought DS3 was done. That's what he was coming to me saying. But when I got with him, I'm like, hey, you tripping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this, you lost your drive. You ain't got no backup. You ain't got nothing. Like, yeah. I'm going to be your engineer. Ain't no more that's gonna Ain't happen. No more. I'm finna it's, secure that. Give me a hundred dollars. Oh. Give me a hundred dollars. I went to Walmart, bought the drive, thinking we finna have one of them future moments. Like, man, Esco done get lost the drive. We gotta record this shit all right, over again. Right. And just by the grace of God, they gave him his drive back. So the shit that we was recording during On that top time of that. added with the shit that he already had was DS3. Dope. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and at the time his engineer didn't understand that. And there's no disrespect to him. That's my boy. Yeah. But I, I don't even think Gunner understood it. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas kind of 
having something to say about me buying a drive, I was like, you know, you buy a drive right now, you might get a car later. You know right, what I'm saying? You right, buy you, right. you buy a drive right now, you be an engineer right now, you might get something later. You know what I'm saying? Just right. add your value and everybody's like turbo tripping. But it's like, no, nah, like this was really going on. We really swap bags plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? Cars, he didn't bought me cars, I done right, bought him right. shit. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like to yeah. the point where it's normal. Well, we having conversations like, hey, we're not doing that no more. Right. We ain't, we, I ain't giving you no more expensive shit. Hey, right. I'm going to put this with this, and we bought three commercial properties. I was talking to Baby about that by James Harden because they had, you know, they make it a thing, the birthday thing. You yeah. know, and, that, and he said that, like, you know, that's really like, you know, poor people shit, you know, doing <laughs> yeah. all that on the birthdays. Yeah. Like they can really supposed to tighten up and go commercial. Yeah, for supposed sure. to tighten up and go business, go LLC, go Longevity, property, bro. Yeah, 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 Longevity, yeah. Longevity, cause it's that important. that's just a little moment, you know what right. I'm saying? But you know, if we do the right thing with this, we gonna forever have those type of moments. Right, and I, you know, I think when I think about even Ye or or Kyrie, I think that what's happening is is that people are trying to convince some of our most important black people to do it for the gram. You know what I'm saying? And we don't do it for the gram. That's why when you go commercial, that picture may not look the same. Yeah, on God. You know what I'm when saying? When you go independent, yeah. it, it ain't it ain't as cute right. no yeah, more. Right? Yeah, it ain't as cute. Mm-hmm. But no, I'm getting sure. paid twice the amount. And when we look at the results of things, and that's what I am results based. Yeah. Not how it look. What's the results of? Yeah, for sure. You know. Um. But yeah, man, I think for me, business is always at the forefront of these things, right? And you did so much business in this shit. I always, like I said, wanted to speak to a high-level producer about the ins and outs, the points, the this and that. It's just like, I don't get all of that shit. You know, you got two points on this record, but it done sold 22 million. Even keep up with all those numbers. Is that ASCAP, ASCAP BMI stuff they do or you know ASCAP BMI is one field then you got you know what I'm saying the publishers and the administrators that's a whole nother field and then you got your team you know what I'm saying and and in my eyes I feel like your team and you should know what to hold everybody accountable for Mm -hmm. you know what I mean if you if you don't know what to hold anybody accountable for if you don't know what this person's supposed to be doing then you don't know what you're supposed to be getting you know what I'm saying so I just feel like, man, just continue to educate yourself in this space. Continue to educate yourself. Continue to, like, just put points on the board because can't yeah. nobody play with Drake. Yeah. Can't nobody play with him. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He He's so successful. It's like even if he did the wrong thing in the beginning because he didn't know something, He's still putting out great music. He's still a, a generational mogul for right. a few generations. Right. So it's like he going you gonna always have to get you him together. With that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You yeah. gonna always have to get his business straight. And not saying he don't know, but you know, I just notice when you keep that hot sh- just stay hot and you keep putting numbers up on the board, everything else will get figured out. You know what I mean? They want to keep doing the business when the stove on. Yeah, like it's hot. Yeah. It's cooking. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm they saying? Yeah, they're going to keep wanting to do the business. Yeah. I think um, when you speak about people not seeing your vision, right, when you was like, man, just add value. You know, that's a new conversation for us. You know what I'm saying? Black people. Like mm-hmm. us us kind of add value to the homeboy, man. Mm-hmm. Let the homeboy going, man. Add value. I'm telling you, you're going to end up a million now. Mm-hmm. It's hard for us to see that far. But I also know that it's lonely when you're in the planning process because ain't nobody going to see it. The planning, the work, it's all that's it's all super lonely. But yeah. I done fell in love with it. Me too. It's the celebration that I don't, that I don't you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't got the grasp of because right. you see so many new faces. Right. Not on them nights where it's like, man, we, we, we grinding like we ugly. I'm away from my family. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, all I, I needed you to do was just help me. Go get the... Go get the food real Man. quick. Be right here, support me, bob your head. Y'all couldn't even do that, but you here when it's time to pop a bottle and I gotta spend, you know, X amount of dollars on whatever, whatever, just so we can move correctly. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't nobody got no money on that, but you enjoying. Mm, mm, mm. On my face card, everything on me, and y'all, I can't depend on y'all. And it's I- just it's what's going on. It's like it's it's it's. I don't know, bro. Did you did did, did you 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 fe- you fell out with anybody because of entitlement? Like like Turbo, turn me up, bro. Plug me with Gunner. Plug me with Slime. Plug me with. Yeah, n- I don't even care to talk about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
it really hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, especially from my neighborhood. You know, it's like, bro, you come from that, come from that world. Like, you always want to go back and show niggas right. and give niggas opportunities. And yeah. it's like, bro, these niggas blew up before I was even able to. So I it think just, it's a misconception. I think the, the cake ready for is ready, man. Nah, for sure. Because I used to be one of them type niggas. Yeah. So I understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, speaking on shit that you don't know, you just right. ignorant to it. But it's like, these was I love, though. Man, you know what I'm saying? He, these was niggas that got them. Like, some, some niggas couldn't do no wrong. You right. know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it happened. And I just had to take it for what it was and, and move accordingly. You know what I mean? Do that change how you move, though? Hell yeah. Yeah. I done been through a lot of that I don't even speak on yeah. that that change the trajectory of everything. You forgave any of them niggas that like any rela anything happened behind the scenes where you done forgave niggas Not and yet. it's still cool. Yeah, I have a trouble forgiving. Not yet, because it's like you done showed me that you capable. Yeah, and then you dangerous, right? Not From yet. a standpoint of I don't know what you would do. You know what I'm saying? You just a loose cannon. Yeah, yeah. And 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 I got so much going on, I can't, can't risk that. it. Yes, Lord. It's hard to explain that too. People think you selfish because you won't risk everything you work take for. Take it with it. Take it for what it is. I ain't explaining nothing. Never ever. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. shit, I, what I about the family though? If family feel it, you explain the family. Man, my family. I don't gotta explain it to my family. Like I, I'm really blessed to have like a a very close knit you know what i'm saying understanding family like it was never i never really dealt with none of that just weird shit that come with success and family right. you know what i'm saying if anything my family be like no take care of you i'm like i, I done took care of me let me right. take care of you you Facts. know what i'm saying Facts. so i don't really deal with that just like thank god you know right. what i mean I would ain't you let a, would you that. let a woman like say you get into a relationship would you let her interfere like in that way with my family nah with 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 like um like your dream almost where she she want attention or she's just no nah. yeah i don't lost so many women i love just off of that too it's like yeah. it got to the point to uh, you gotta you gotta understand like this is this is what so I'm you doing. won't even explain it to a woman i can't i don't know how right that's you know what that's I'm fact like i just rather show with my actions and you know every every woman that kind of like came and went they they get it later you know what I mean? So I always know I'm not tripping. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Get but that like, reassurance. Yeah, like my girl now is like, I don't I don't gotta deal with none of that shit. If anything, I'm teaching her uh, a lot of shit. You know what I'm so, saying? So but yeah, so what I I guess what I'm asking, if she's like if she gets into a place where she wants some some kind of clarification on um where she stands in your life. You know, like, you know, we say we don't, I ain't explaining nobody the dream come first. Like, the dream is what keeping all this shit. Yeah, I mean, I ain't, I ain't never had to be in no, no predicament like right. that. Like, my actions kind of speak before you even have any type of feeling of, like, right. where you stand in my life. Like, I'm already showing you where, where you stand in my life. You know what I'm saying? And if you need more than that, then you might just be immature because I'm showing you a lot. And that's what I be on. It's like I can't, I can't keep my take my eyes off the road to keep. Now I still love you. I still, love, I, don't, I don't got nah, that to do. I'm hustling. Mm -mm. You don't like it, then that just is what it, it is. Unfortunately, it ain't making yeah. sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think social media has, has messed up relationships? Yeah, and I feel like they, 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 they are now getting trophies for for fucking up his entire lives. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Every time the shade room posts some, shit, that's a trophy. Like, ooh, I made shade room, and you have your Ten minutes of fame, and you know, these folks still got to deal with that. You done fucked up their family. He separated from his baby. He can't see his baby. That he going through that. You know what I'm saying? She going through that, and she trying to stay strong. Cause these folks in the comments is is saying woo woo woo, woo but she really loved him, and she would have forgave him if it wasn't exactly to the world. It done. Now I'm embarrassed. You know what I got to deal with embarrassment, not just principle. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, definitely done fucked it up. But you know, a lot of people allow that. Like I don't put my my business right. on the internet you know what i'm saying yeah. when you when you put it on the internet you allow people the opportunity to do what they want to do and play with your shit. so yeah you know your mama and your grandma been telling you that for years like what, yeah. what happened in your house stay in your house yeah and black media man has a problem with documenting you know the good side of what we provide or even just family or just yeah. prosperity or hustling or business yeah. right we look at um, even when rappers get into it, yeah. they quick to put that shit on shade room. Yeah. But when Thug and Gunner them filed the paperwork about whatever's happened, 
we don't see no whole bunch of coverage on like helping them guys why we don't use our voice to amplify certain things that ain't right to try to help push you know voices out like i'm confused bro nah, i'm confused like you know yeah 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 we both confused <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we, bo we both confused <laughs> i'm sure confused like yeah. i'm thinking to myself why are we living in a place where shade room and sh they post me right mm -hmm. certain places oppose you in that light and like you said you deal with those ramifications for days and months on end and mm -hmm. that post is gone on down now there's some other sh yeah on yeah that, that, that they tan up yeah but yeah. we allow that too bro like it man it's just got to the point to where people of like us you know what i'm saying like me you like you right. know what we done went through right right to, right to have the platforms we have and the money that we get right. and shit. so man it's just a curve you know what i'm saying like it's changing I feel like it's gonna change. You know, you you might see some little positive shit here and there, and it all it's all about what you focus on. You know what I mean? Right. I'm not trying to really focus on no negative shit. I don't even follow Shade Room. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But I might just see somebody repost it, and now I'm clicking it, and I'm going through all the yeah. old shit. Yeah. Now, you know what I'm saying? you peeping a few of that shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But you know, it's just all what you focus on. But it's it's it's, it's it gotta change. Yeah. It's too and much we shit. that's what this platform is, right? This shit is the true people with it because we talk information and, and and let's talk even some more information let's look at dj khaled yep is he a producer what what would in your mind is he a producer is he a uh, executive now nah, let's take executive off let's deal with talent based things is he an artist produce what what would you, you can't take executive off like i i would honestly i know he's an executive but i'm trying to f identify what is he doing he a mogul mm. he a real mogul in the making you know what i'm saying like when we start paying attention to we we seen Jay Z's and you know what I'm saying and the Nas's, but they was doing all the work that he's doing now, back in the '90s and you know what I'm saying like all the other time where it wasn't just in your face. Like you gotta think about it. He had artists, still got artists. Had yeah. the We the Best label, yeah, all he, them moments, yeah, yeah. the Air Jordan shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The albums that he put out and that's another thing. Just like how you said with traveling, like I'm putting together my own album. And you realize, like, man, he really he created some through? moments. Right. You know what Rihanna I'm saying? Rihanna and this and that man, on the same like, record. This shit sampled. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On this top is of this that. is that. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. and really created some moments to where we listening to this in the club and we listening to this in the car, and it's really like this is a moment. Right. You know what I mean? That's not easy to yeah. do, especially even from a business perspective. I think how much of those songs you think he own? very little i'm sure he owns them but you know it, it the breakdown right and that's what that, i mean, you know the breakdown, I mean? Yeah. I, when you putting out the music at the caliber and the albums that he putting out i'm sure he owns it right you know what i'm saying i don't want to just speak on something i don't know right, but, right. you know we I, just trying to grab information and see how to do business like you said you working on an album like yeah. do i expect to own these songs right do i expect to break it down in what way do i break it down right. what does that look like right, right. you got a sample beat with rihanna and this person and it goes crazy what percentage does Khaled get of that what does that look like you know yeah and that's kind of like what i want to know i'm wondering like because some of those moves are so large they so large and it's so much that go into it yeah that's what i'm saying from a business from a just a lining up all these different things it's like yeah, yeah boy. He, he's he's a different kind of animal for that yeah yeah oh god yeah shout out to Khaled. yeah shout, shout out to him um Versus, would you do a versus with anybody? Who, yeah, yeah. With who? Who could? Who could put you in a versus? Give me four. Give me five records you will do in a versus, off your your records. Off my catalog. Yeah. Um, of course, drip too hard. Um, Yosemite by Travis Scott. Um. Oh, okay, from Gunna. Close friends from Little Baby. And um, never recover with Baby Gunner and Drake. Ooh, them my hard five. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Boy, is them hard five or what? <laughs> is them hard five? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. smashed the five. <laughs> that was a hard five. So tell me, so okay, so okay, who who would you who could you see on this on on the side? Who can? can go against that five shit anybody they choose to i'm there for the platform you right know what I'm so in but you with it though yeah 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 like, you know what i mean i respect just timbaland and swiss beats like yeah just to just to do it you know what i'm right. saying like i do it but 
know. Damn, who, that's who, a who, hard fight. Who is your comp? Who would who would you think your fans are putting next to that, or I they would say? Say, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to say who can give me five off the top like that, though. I know Metro Nim. You know. Um, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you it, it, just like how it got me. It's like, know, I don't know. I really, he just hit you with, you hear me, close friend. This, that's like. And that's off the top go of ahead, my bro, brain, we, bro. This like, is talk. Let me know. Yeah. Maybe yeah, Sunny. Weezy. Yeah. Weezy. Weezy. He got, he got probably five of them. South side. South side. Well, damn, give me five South side, though. Yeah. But give me five south side. That's, that's hard. That's, that's so many. Yeah, that's a hard question yeah. to ask. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, cause, cause it was just hard for me to think about that. But five. you just hit me with a. You hit me across the them moments though. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. What I'm like saying. them real moments. Like that's what I'm about creating. Nigga, and south side got some moments too. We got some with future. March Madness. Yeah. Ooh, that right there. That Ain't alone. It? That's a point. March Madness. That's a point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a point. March Madness hey, is a point. With him and uh Jay Z. Uh uh, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But that shit point. Like Yeah, that nigga's a motherfucker. They I, I wish they cranked the producer side of that back up, man. Yeah. Because y'all get to play with a lot more. Yeah. You for understand sure. what I'm saying? I think for they sure. need to jazz y'all, pipe y'all up a little more though. For get sure. the youngins, y'all in there to it. turn that shit. Up. Tell you, I'm with it, bro. I, I Maybe it's a surprise guest pop out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Especially now, cause I feel like with 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 verses, it just felt so good. Yeah, you know what I mean. It wasn't about all. The, all, all, all. Yeah. It's just like, man, we all coming here, and as, right. as it got it's bigger and bigger, it's yeah. just like it's a vibe, yeah. bro. When they did the goo up and Jeezy, bro, you could ask my brother three, bro. We at, we in L. A. We at my spot in L. A., bro. We both in the house jumping Me around too. now. You know what I'm saying? Like looking Blunt at the screen. Up, it was a moment. Man, we drinking like we in like we in like magic. Super Bowl. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like just that feeling. It's like it's just a feeling. Like and I respect them for just just. Whenever you do it, it, I gotta be there. No, nah, for sure. I got to be nah, there because sure. I know it's gonna be a, gonna be a vibe. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> like Jada, look what Jada did. Oh man, he f that verses. Oh, I ain't never seen nothing like that. Oh, like God. from a performance standpoint, how, and that's what I say about the universe. It's alive, man. Yeah. When he pop out and just had a song, I'm from New the real New. That whole moment, oh, it was just perfect. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, shit. sometimes. Oh, it's just perfect. Oh, it just God. lines up. It's like, yo, we want to create. We want to create some of them moments. That, it ain't got too weird, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's that's just real shit. Like it ain't. It wasn't no extra on it or nothing. Like he being himself, and it's yeah. like we got to get back to that. Man, bro. that was so. Hey, I love that shit right there. Mm -hmm. I think. Let me see. I'm gonna try to put a name next to it. Turbo versus. Swiss. Timberland, who who can we put this? Them big dogs. Like nah, that, I'm talking that, about. I'm, I'm asking them, like Swiss. Oh, okay, okay, who okay, can okay. we put next yeah. to Turbo? Yeah. Like Turbo versus like somebody of this generation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we gonna have to figure that out. Yeah, we'll be the first ones to do it. You then know who I mean? else got a diamond record in the new generation? But no, nobody. It's, Roddy it's, got it's, one. Who made that? Uh, 30 him and Rock. the baby got it. Thirty Rock made it. Okay. The, the I think the box is diamond. So the box, think, it ain't the other one. Yeah, I think it may be the box. But it's only eighty six songs ever to go down. Yeah, that's boy, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, so you know that that'll probably be cool. Yeah. You know what Do I mean? you are you able to get booked to DJ and and shit like that? Yeah, yeah. Is that a good? Is that sustainable? Is it good? Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit like that's that's a whole another separate income. That's a whole another bag. How do you brand that though? How do you make people see? This is another thing I think. Like I'm asking, bro, is how do we activate and let people know? Hey. I'm available for speaking. Mm -hmm. I know I'm a producer, but I'm available to talk in schools and all kind of get with me. See, at times like this, hey, I'm available right. for bookings. <laughs> 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 hey, one, two, and three. Hey, right. you know what I'm saying? Get, get somebody right. get in touch with somebody. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm yeah, available. Yeah. Cause, but you know, how did you start getting your DJ thing? I going? ain't really did it much. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the times I have done it, like I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? So, but you're available for bookings, yeah, though. Yeah, 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 yeah super yeah. available. You know what I'm saying? Overseas and the United States. So what, what else can a producer be booked for, right? 
Okay. Appearances. Okay. Um, Especially um, when you brand it like you brand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appearances, DJs. Um, what else? Like I seen Timberland doing like the um the beat critiques. You know what I'm saying? Like that's another thing. If you if listen you just to get your into beat, it, you shit know what I mean? like that. I done been to uh plenty of events where like it's like beat battles. You know what I'm saying? In the producer community in different cities, they have beat battles. And Critiquing you come, your music too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the beat battles, I super enjoyed that. You okay, know what I'm saying? Okay. Like it was like you just meet a lot of young niggas and it's just it's just fresh energy. You know what I'm saying? So the times I did that, that was that was fun. That's a vibe. But it's it's whatever you make it. Shit, yeah. Man, I come I come be in your your uh, video. You know what I'm saying? Movies everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like I I love doing shit like that. You know. Do what you mean? have you ever tapped into that? Send me seven hundred to listen to your song, give you some feedback. No, oh, cause I, I I have a hard time taking advantage of people. Yeah, I think that hurts your brand a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's they look at you down. like greasy. Yeah. He a little greasy. Yeah. He taking old five hundred to listen to a song and give you a thumbs up. He might be a little grease ball. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you might need it. You might. Or not. he hurt. Like, you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot like, of you hurting. I don't even want that perception yeah. on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. you know. Well, just if you got my attention, play your shit. I right. tell you, I tell you what I think about right. it. You know what I mean? Just off the organic, yeah. yeah. You know that's love. Yeah. That's and that's and and I think when your value or when your brand is always like this ain't for sale. I think that's important too. Yeah, yeah. It's like nah, this is organic. All these relationships and shit is real. This ain't a give me four thousand and pop up on my podcast. Nah, like you know the subscriber shit on Instagram. Yeah, like I started doing that. And I really enjoy that shit, bro. Yeah. Like I do like a chat like every every week or every couple weeks and just these young niggas just be sending me all their music. You know That's what I'm saying? Dope. Sending me the shit that they made and we'll talk about it in there and you know, I might get off Instagram for a couple hours, get back on and it's two, three producers that done clicked up in the chat. You See, know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. and now they Community working on their own. Thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I, I did it just being bored on Instagram and just set it up one day, but I noticed, like, I really enjoy, you know what I'm saying, just connecting with people, yeah, you know what I mean? And yeah. it gives it, like, a smaller, a smaller like, community. Like, I can't go through every request. Right. Like, with that, it's like they put the little thing at the top, and you know what I'm saying? You you put all these folks in the chat, so it's easy, you know what I mean? That's but dope. Shit like that, like, shit just real shit. Yeah, huh? yeah, you, know you gotta I mean? tap in, man. And I, I get what happened to me yesterday. I pull up, well, not yesterday. When I got done here, I pull up. I run into a place. This gonna fuck you up. I run into a place, right? And I'm in Atlanta, so I'm already knowing. Yeah, it's high level thievery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You understand? I'm already knowing it's a high level of thievery. So oh, I sure. push up in the spot. And I'm knowing, so I got, you know, I got everything I could have on me. Yeah, you know, I'm loaded, nigga, like a forklift yeah. coming in. You understand <laughs> me? So I get in there. I go to this, man, I shoot up to the condo. I come back down, a nigga done been in my car. Mm. And he got me good. I fucked up. And this is the thing about rushing. And I want to just talk about just, you know, taking, like, this journey, man, this shit happens on this journey man sure. i lost my hard drive on an airplane the other day that got i know five million dollars worth of content on it left it on the airplane don't got a bag up nowhere but let's go back to the, the car thing so i go in i'm talking to the lady da, 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 da. i come back down wasn't five minutes i yep. come out the trunk up i said he got me yep. somebody got my push back up in there she showed me the camera Little nigga push up with the hood, hit the thing. Uh, 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 uh. Now here's my here's my problem. I had a jewelry box. Some of my smaller jewelry was in there. Man, I'm telling you, this hurt my heart, man. Mm -hmm. Little bit, but he was smart enough to look in the 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 cupboard, the the hole right there. He went straight to that. I said, damn. Now this is what I. With all that being said, it was a loss. I insure, and I, I mean, I get the. I, I'm okay insurance wise. I didn't take a mean loss, but I took a, a, a good enough loss to make me upset, and also I was violated. Mm -hmm. Took some from me, For sure. and a lot of memory cards, right? Got a lot of shit on it, but nonetheless, right? Uh, I said this because they're running a scheme. They watching over there. 
sure. Four, five minutes, dog. This ha this is what I think they noticed. He got too much shit. Got to be some more shit in the car. Like, I'm I'm telling you, man, I got this with cameras and this. I got that big thing right there, some more shit. I'm like, I ain't leaving nothing in the car. Because these here, you give them three minutes and you lose everything. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I come out and the idea that they plotting like this said to me that Organized crime is still alive, man. I'm talking about to the point where I'm knowing that he's somewhere in the cut watch watching it. that little hotel or condo area saying mm -hmm. as people unloading mm -hmm. and he see me and I was talking to one of my homies from down here. He was like, Loon, you get out with that Gucci coat on. Certain shit is normal to you. You ain't even noticing that another like... It's, it's an eye catcher. Yeah. Do you ever notice? Do you ever? Are you conscious that you are you and your jury is this and you are? You understand what I'm saying? Because it's normal to you. This is just life to you. But it, but it's, but Atlanta is normal to me too. I'm from Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. You know what so I mean? you kind of so know. Like, I got eyes everywhere, just attached to me and just how I'm moving. Right. You know what I mean? So right. It's unfortunate that shit happened, yeah. but it's like, but I done heard so many stories. It's part of, that, of the you know police I mean? even told me. Police, police like man. Even, they called the police because I got to get insurance for mm -hmm. my insurance. I got to get a thing. So he get up there. He hit the thing. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. This is what these young niggas do. Yeah. I said, okay. So get what I do then. I'm still him now. Nah, nah. Uh, nah, I go get in black. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm walking around me. I done pull shiest it down. I ain't want no issues. Now I'm walking around. See, because I... I got the video, so I know a few details about the youngster. So now I'm walking around. I ain't doing, I ain't aggressive with nobody. I'm intel. Mm -hmm. I'm just. Just looking. Yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. If I just see him, it ain't going to be nothing to talk about. I see him and I ain't guessing. If I'm wrong, I got to deal with it. But if I see somebody that resemble that right there, here I come. Because he got all my shit. That's all I'm thinking like. Look, though, no, look. Because. Trust me, I done been there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what he was talking about earlier. So imagine you do catch him. You got them emotional, woo, 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 woo. You do this. In the trick bag. It's a trick. Yeah. I'm telling you, I know bro. it's a trick. You know what I'm saying? My so mama like, told me, son, fuck that shit. So, just straight so, up. So would you rather just... Hey, you somebody with you that you can build with, and you gotta, you right. gotta, you gotta, somebody you gotta watching fuck that. with him for a, for, a, for a couple months to get used to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he get used to you, and you know you can fuck with him. And he running up there with that shit. Right. And I'm chilling. And you chilling. You but doing here, but you see, then here's the thing. It's like this shit is moving so fast for me. I don't really know what's happening. You have to learn. That's your responsibility. Yeah, that you cause show it's right. like God is blessing you yeah. to to have you moving fast. You show right. So it's like it's just like the streets, bro. Yeah. When you moving fast and you got to work and you doing what you're doing, yeah. it's like you have to pivot. You yeah. gotta do what you yeah. need to do to stay. Sustain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this the same shit, bro. This shit done turned into the streets for yeah. real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's why I only come places where I know. Yeah. I'm, it's a control setting. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not. You, you could have told me to come anywhere. It's like, but I I might been way deeper. Yeah, yeah. You know. What but I'm that's saying? why I do it like that. See, I'm from the street. This is a this is a thing, bro. Mm -hmm. Like this is why it happens that way. It's like, is it good? This is why it happens that way. It's like I know that. I know how we live. I'm yeah. living like that. So I'm. I know. I right, bro. I don't want to bring bro out his comfort zone. Yeah. Like even when you see baby next to me with all his jewelry on, look at those other interviews. Right, and I'm saying, oh God, you gotta oh think God. about little stuff like that. Oh speaks God. like a nigga even right. You in comfortable settings with these individuals oh versus, God. oh man, I got to pull weight over here, and man, I ain't really finna be all iced up and shit, and it don't even mean that much. Like I, I'm doing this as part of the thing, right? But it's like sometimes if you can keep people comfortable, it's better for me. That's yeah, how I feel. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I ain't trying to pull no out of this and. Nah, bro, let bro stay comfortable. I'm coming to bro. And that's why I'm uncomfortable with a tag along. But you need it. You need it. I'm telling you. you need Tell it. me why when I'm seven figures in, them folks offering seven figures like this. Yeah, keep talking. I need it, to hear this game. But it, it, it's, it could get bigger and it's getting bigger. And it's like, bro, you still got the, the trauma of the shit that you went through. I'm telling you, bro, you, I done been through this shit. I done talked to you. Bro, I done, yeah. bro, don't get this producing shit. 
Nah, I'm you know what I'm saying? That's it's why like, I'm next bro, to like, you. Nigga, yeah. I done seen this yeah. shit. It's like, bro, it's your responsibility. It don't matter if you don't pay goddamn a nigga. You pay a professional security guard. You eventually going to goddamn get comfortable with him. And now he can help you with your Yeah, bags. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I you understand. You just need somebody that. like, and it's going to be like that for everything. That's just moving around in the street. But you, now you need that for goddamn in the business world. Exactly. Now you need that for goddamn yeah. in the traveling world. And yeah. it's going to be different from the U.S. and for overseas yeah. you know what i'm saying you yeah. might need somebody that know overseas better right. you know what i mean because right. all that shit right. happened right but you got to think about that shit, nah you know i I, I agree with you i agree with you and you know for me bro i think the trauma i'm dealing with is i've been set up like by informed me personally right drug bust they come for me not i just happen to be in the house that they busting yeah. and i was here nah they come for me and i think and the person that set me up I, 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 I was dealing with that dude for 10 years. I helped him. I helped his father. I put him in positions where he never needed nothing. And he and he sent me to the police. You understand? So I think even stuff like that, like, that's 10 years. That was a 10-year relationship in which I did everything. That This was transactional relationship in which I was the person that the person benefited from. And still ended up... And it's like, damn, now how much is that worth? Have you been hurt in this business? Like, I know you said you lost to, you felt like, damn, yeah, bro, I, I love y'all. I've been through shit I don't talk about. That's, so how do you still find the strength? Shit, I don't have no choice. I, I, I love got, to hear I got, that. I got people, to keep hearing that. I got these people to provide for. I done been through this shit. I don't know, I don't know what these is on, but I got to be around them. I don't have no choice. So now I got to move accordingly. I got to move a certain way when I got to be around these folks. And I got to do what I need to do. It's like, it, 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 it's just positive energy and just hoping for the best. You know what I'm saying? But just even in your case, it's like, you look at what you're doing. Look at what God took you from yeah. to now. You don't even have to deal with shit like right. that. Right, right. And I want to be free. That's the thing. Be free. Yeah, but I ain't mentally free. That's what it. That's what it is, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's how I know it's trauma, cause it's like, bro, I'm dealing with shit like that now that I'm unpacking. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, but that shit ain't easy. But I have no choice but to unpack it for me to get the billions that I'm trying to get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And be around the other people that I want to attract and know how to conduct myself. I'm not just sitting around still on a like we shouldn't even be talking about certain. Shit around certain people right, you know what right, i'm saying because right. that's a whole different world right 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 you know what i mean yeah. so it's like that's your responsibility can't nobody do it for you and it's like shit, if you don't do it you might not reach your full potential you know and i think if i think you know part of it is too is 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 a high level of confidence too where it's like yeah i feel like yeah. i can reach my potential like this yeah. and i'm wrong i want to be clear because all the biggest businesses in the world there's a team involved so this is a hundred percent wrong yeah. but it's but it's emotionally fear you yeah, know it's like yeah. and i'm an information guy that's why you hear me say i know it's wrong yeah right i'm an information guy i know it's wrong but emotionally it's like but damn i done done so much by myself how much more can i do it is gonna get to the point it's just like i don't know how to swim Around, get you on too far ship, deep. You goddamn. deep out there. But yeah, it's gonna swim, or yeah, it's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. better got there learn yeah, how to swim yeah, in that yeah. motherfucker. For sure. You know what I'm saying? In your sure. case, it's like shit. Nigga swimming in that money. It ain't. We yeah. ain't swimming with the sharks. For sure. Shit, we going from the fives and the twenties to the hundreds and the checks. Lord, please. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. So it's like, nigga, you gotta keep swimming, man. You gotta learn how to swim, and it's like, yeah, it's cool. It's all lessons. Like, yeah. I take it as lessons, bro. You know what I'm saying? This nigga. It's so much shit that a nigga done been through, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? You ever had a hard drive or something stolen? I got a crazy story about it. Let that. me get that. You really want to yeah. hear it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man. I want to hear that, man. I, I have told it before, but I still can't believe it. Um, I was in D.C. when I first started traveling. And um, Gunner had a show in dc but i got to dc a little bit early i had got them some, some going on in dc i had some partners out there so i knew how to move around right so i had ordered an uber but i just told them to cut the uber off and i'm just gonna pay them directly mm. now gonna get in town and i'm thinking he gonna have enough trucks for everybody he don't you know what i'm saying so i call my man back it's time to go do a show we go do the show and i'm telling this 
right here. Do not move. For whatever reason, don't move. Right. So he did that. When as soon as we coming out, you know, it's a little it's a little bit of commotion. We ain't run straight to the cars. I see him, he get in the car, and then I don't see him no more. I got gunner bag on me. Somebody else got my bag. So gunner bag full of money. My bag got his drive in it, my drive in it, uh my money in it, my wallet, everything. His sh just got money in it. Mm hmm So bam, I'm looking for the my drive truck. me more than the money. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why Turbo got it. Right. I'm goddamn looking for the truck, and I can't find the truck. That you told don't move. That I told don't move. I got people with me, going to get in his truck. They starting to pull off, so I'm really tripping like, bro, where the f*** my truck at? I'm calling him. He not picking up the phone. Nah. So now they pulling out of the secure area onto the street, but I don't have no choice. Like... I can't just be sitting here looking dumb, so I'm starting to walk out the secure area. I got five people with me, so it's 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 cool. But Gunner looking at me like, "What you doing? What you doing? Yeah. Hey, give me a bag. What you doing? Yeah. I can't find my truck. Give me the bag. Give me the bag. Go find your truck. Goddamn, go to the corner of the street. So if this is the back, I have to do some shit like this and get right here. Oh, now I'm yeah. at the corner of the street. Okay. This nigga is all the way down here. The truck. The truck. Man, what this nigga? Just Dude. sitting in the middle <laughs> of the street. The I'm fresh as a motherfucker. I got oh there. Like, I, I, got, I got people with me. You know what I'm saying? And that's he riding gone. with me. And he all the way down the street. But he parked. So I'm immediately walking to the car. But I'm I'm so... Like, I've never been this mad in yeah, my life. Nigga. Getting the car, I just started spazzing. Nigga, what the fuck? What you doing? Yeah. Like, you got me out here yeah. doing this. Doing woo, too woo, much. Woo, yeah. Like... You tripping. Yeah. And I just can't stop, though. I can't stop just you telling them off. You yeah, know what you I'm saying? Yeah, you Yeah. He turned around at me, jump out the car. I don't know what's finna happen now. I don't got damn shit. Yeah. He can't open my door. I jump straight out. What going on? What he, we doing? Uh, he opened your he door like he on the squabble. Bro, he, he looked like <laughs> oh, he was finna man. snatch me out the car. Uh, he playing. He come aggressive. Super aggressive. Yeah, yeah. In front of the police, though. Of course. He drove up a little bit right in front of where the police yeah, is directing. That's traffic, what they want to do. And he started tripping. Get the yeah, f out my yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Get out my car. Get out. I'm already out the car as soon as you open the door. Right, because I'm thinking you finna try something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So now everybody else is getting out the car. So I'm like, f them. Shit. It's cool. We get out the car. I start walking. My man that had my bag when Gunner gave me his bag is like, hey, where your bag? I'm like, nigga, you got my bag. He like, no, I don't. Vroom, truck flying by. <laughs> oh, oh, man, he got the bag. I'm like, oh, my bag. With the I was beefing with. With the bitch ass nigga I'm beefing with. And I'm in D.C. We staying in Maryland. What the f*** going on, man? man. I walked to goddamn... It's traffic. We was at Bliss. So it's traffic right there. Everybody know, you know what I'm saying? My niggas from D.C., they know how that shit get right there. I see a nigga, like an African-looking guy with a suit on with all his windows down in a black truck. I just walk up to his car. Hey, you a driver? Take me to my hotel. I give you. I pay you cash. You ain't got your bag, though. I got cash on me, though. I know, but the hard drive. I can't sit out here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure, for so sure. So that's sure. like, as soon I'm as I see you. him walk past, yeah. we walk up a little bit, and I see somewhere. him yeah. just get in the car. Yeah. We all pile in the yeah, car. It's yeah, all yeah. good. Now I'm trying to figure it out. We get to the hotel. Niggas is trying to call the police. Like, and, and I ain't even with Gunner. Gunner don't even know that the bag gone. He went to the studio. So we all was supposed to meet at the studio. You got to investigate about the bag. I got to figure out what's going yeah. on. All I got is a card with his name on it. Make a couple calls. Like, I'm really from this world. Right. Make At least you got calls. that card, though. I got the card with yeah. his name on it, but yeah. that don't mean... You know what I'm saying? We in the middle of D.C., right. bro. This is when you I first started there. traveling. Yeah, yeah. I don't even really know how to move around like that for real. Right. So I got a few D.C. with me. I got my other man with me from um Miami, and I got a couple Atlanta niggas with me. So he dropped us off at the hotel. I got the card, and my man, like, he just working a whole nother one mm. while my other folks is on the phone with the police, and the police, like, it ain't nothing we can do. Ain't nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. Shit. I know the nigga. He go the nigga. 
don't matter. Man, that world, these laws, <laughs> this shit crazy. It ain't nothing we can do. My man, though, I don't even want to just go in super depth, but right. long story short, goddamn, <laughs> boop, bop, we make a call, everything. Yes, Lord, let me get that. Everything, hey, this is goddamn, Drives whoop, 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 no. Oh, okay. Information. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what that, that's what that leads you know what to. The drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Information. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, okay, bam. This is who he is. This is who he drive with. This is where he at. Yeah. This is, what, this is what we got on file. Ah, uh, yeah, that's hard. Go right here 45 minutes away. That's where they at. Third, Ooh, it's, th it's, it's 3 in the morning. Go 45 minutes away. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> they push up with the shit. Let me get that. Man, that bag. Yeah, <laughs> Twelve come. Woo, 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 woo. They the call the police. Some young niggas at my door. They banging on my door. What's Let going me on? get that though. Officer, I don't want no trouble. This is my name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. This was my driver. He got something that's very important to me. I cannot leave with this. Well, you have to leave. I don't know what he got. Y'all gonna have to go to court for it. But you have to leave. I'm finna leave. If you don't leave, if you still here when I come back, you going to jail. Off top, you going to jail. Cool. Yeah, ain't nobody leaving. I can't leave. Yeah. He leave, I get in the car, sitting in the car trying to figure it out. He come back with more police. Yeah. I just told y'all, goddamn, I'm going to lock y'all in up. What y'all doing? Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, I cannot leave. Yeah. He has this. He go knock on the door. Man, I don't got, I don't know what they talking about. I don't got nothing. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. He come back talking to me. Hey, bro, I wouldn't be here if he ain't had this. Right. I don't want no trouble. Why would I be way from another city? I got Georgia's yeah, uh, motherfucking license, bro. Like, what? Like, I don't got no reason to even be playing like yeah. this. He, the police go to him. He say, oh, well, he owe me, he owe me $600. I owe him nowhere near $600. Right. But here you go. Police like, hey. You can either give him the six hundred dollars, or go to court, or go to jail. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Come back with the bag, but y'all don't see that he just said he, he didn't did. have my bag. At they first. don't even care about that. He I don't lying. even care. Yeah. Driving this motherfucker, cool. Let's roll. He did not know what he had either. He did, he did not know. He didn't know. He didn't know who I was. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man. So it's like, go back. Now it's like six in the morning. We get back to the to where we needed to be. Gonna been calling the whole time. Don't nobody pick up for him. I don't even want to hear. I don't even want to yeah, talk. Yeah, right go, he gonna blow up. He gonna be fucked up about that. I don't even want to talk right yeah. now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 they go back in the hotel. Like I said, I was already staying there, so I got my own room somewhere at a separate hotel. Right. Get his that dry. I don't even want to see this dry. You know what I mean. And tomorrow we're gonna get another drive. We're gonna back this motherfucker. I'm going to sleep. Next day we go to the airport. He like, what the hell you had going on last night? Tell him the story. He like, wait, what? Say, I know he yeah. said you got the drive though. He already had the drive. Uh, so he know he, <laughs> he know it's you know good. What I'm saying? Yeah. Like he had to keep the drive for a couple weeks. Just cause it was like at that time I was the one carrying around his drive. Right. So he he it would always have to be a turbo right here. Cause Turbo got my drive, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Now it's like I don't even want you drive, right? You know what I'm saying? I need, I need, I need nigga, my I went own through hell, and, get, nigga, and I was emotionally drained on, in man. front of that white man house or Come whoever on, this man. is. This was a nigga, a nigga, had it. yes, bro. Nigga, this some bullshit. Damn, <laughs> damn, bullshit. yeah, they some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's some man, that's crazy. Do you do you think uh? When when you think about those jets, cause I know Thug and Gunner would always take jets. You was on them jets and shit too, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that shit super high? Yes. Extremely high. I didn't say extremely. 50k or something one way. 50k, you gonna get you a small jet. That's a little boy. Yeah. So they 7500. <laughs> Seventy five thousand, hundred thousand. Yeah, Goddamn, I mean. like yeah, just for you to be comfortable. One way. Uno. Kiss you. <laughs> but it's worth it though, especially when you got a team. Man, they going to go pick up very big bags. So it's like you have to you have to move a certain way. You know what I'm saying? In my case, I don't have to move that way just yet. You right. know what I'm saying? So, you know, my, all my folks, we might just be first class and we cool. I How much is that, car. though? 25000 or something, though? What, first class? Yeah, for 10 people. 
it, I don't move with that many people. See, that's why I'm saying when you start looking at it that way, where it's like, all right, I got a squad of 18. Yeah. We're going to really go out first class. That's It might be like 12,000, 10,000. Something you know like that. Like, yeah, still cheaper, though, than that private jet, jet, though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And, it's, and, it's, and it's cool. But, yeah, that shit, right, it's very worth it, though. Yeah. It's very worth it. Especially if you secure that money. You don't want to come through the airport with a 200 thousand dollar bag just how either. they treat you how you how they look at how you. how they like, treat you give give us some game i ain't never rolled one shh, man you get on that motherfucker and it's like whatever you need they pleasant they know you spent the bankroll they yeah, pleasant yeah. in a motherfucker hey, how you man. doing sir yeah you doing all right how you doing you need your feet <laughs> rubbed like, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 oh yeah. before the fight do y'all want y'all food before the flight pull out how y'all want it what you want tell me what you want i'm Can here smoke for you on that? Uh, not all of them. Yeah. You, it's that's that's more so like with the pilot. Like if right. the pilot lets you smoke, but not all of them. Mm -mm. Yeah. So I be thinking about something. You see, I be wondering. I be wondering. I be thinking about this. Shit. Like, uh, yeah, I sure. remember that time they got the arguing with the dude, and I'm uh, like, see, there? it's a di was you? Uh, there? See, there's a difference between racism, classism. They were dealing with classism, yeah. and it's like, damn, we rich too. What are you talking about? Like, we own this jet. What Outside is Outside of money, though, like, they was just, they already had a problem. Well, what I mean is they were dealing with racism. Usually it's classic, but these niggas was rich and still was like. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. don't yeah. f with y'all, yeah. even though y'all rich. Yeah. It's like, Thanks. that's what I meant to say. That's yeah. really what it was, though. It's like, y'all don't even like the fact that we wasn't late. One nobody did it, it. It started getting disrespectful when the live happened. Yeah. One nobody disrespectful. Right. Everybody was kind of not understanding. That what, what going was on. saying. Like I went back on there and looking for my food. I like, wasn't trying to he, argue. He was shit. lost. He was the main one. Like I'm not getting off this motherfucker. Yeah. Like he spent his money. Like he yeah. like I'm not getting off this motherfucker to the police come. Yeah. You know what I mean? And shit. That was really just giving us enough time to find another jet. Right. Shit, we stranded. Nick moving like that though man i know you miss bro man yeah that's my brother man. i know that you shit. miss him man just to even see him have to go through this, all of them you know how yeah. many jail calls i get you know what i'm saying and, and these mamas and shit that i'm talking to and it's and it's you know these my mama too right you know what i'm saying right but it's, just it's like, real love there bro, they miss with them every babies. day yeah. yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying like with them every day yeah you know what i mean and it's like to the point we don't post this shit. We don't like, right it's family this yeah. ain't about the ground baby too yeah like you don't even People don't even realize. So when he was saying that, I don't even know in the interview, and he was just like, "Yeah, this shit don't f with me." It's like, but it's show every day. Right. People that you either talking to or you seeing, and it's like a week don't go by without us talking. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So now it's like seven months. You know what I'm Man. saying? Like, where the hell y'all at? And Man. they playing with y'all? Like, right. What's going on? I know that shit hurt you, bro. Cause like you and him had a chemistry. You and baby got a chemistry. What? What's up with y'all? Y'all gonna get back? What? Y'all still cooking up? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's I my gotta brother. hear y'all. Y'all, y'all fuck some shit up too. <laughs> yeah. Y'all yeah, go crazy. We got some shit. That pocket you live in, man. Like especially when you get with those artists. Cause I won't say you live in, cause you you able to bounce around. Yeah. But boy, when you get in that drip too hard, BPM and yeah. some of that type. shit. I'm like, he fucking them. Oh, for sure. oh man. <laughs> for sure. Yo, for that sure. shit be so lovely, man. But um, anything you want to leave the people with? Man. Take care of yourself these days. This shit the devil working, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't believe how many people we just lost this year and how much it was just like a shift from how we was at the top of the year to now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's been a drastic year. So it's like, I just want everybody to just take care of themselves, really know themselves, and figure out what that means. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, don't let nobody play with you. And sure. I don't know, not on no level of nothing negative, like just right. anything with your Guard creativity. Your peace. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, have everything just straight moving forward into this next year. Right. Dude, let me ask you this, and then we'll get out of here. What? With the jewelry wearing thing, when do you not wear your? When is it not a time to wear your jewelry? I'm not really a super jewelry wearing person. Right. So shit, I I don't even really need a reason to not wear jewelry. You just you know sometimes what I'm I ain't. Like, it, yeah. I, I, I need now okay, a so to put when it on. do you okay? What makes you put it on? When you need to shine. Right. Search. You know what I'm like, saying like uh, you you gotta uh, you gotta shine. You gotta let that shit hit, and you gotta let these people know that you is not one of. Right, the models, people, yeah, you know and saying? you know what? Sometimes that's the problem. We shine, and when we ain't got no business shine, you get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Just that's chill. the problem. You got to know when it's time to shine. Yeah, and really, that's on a business tip. 
that's what everything. You marketing yourself, right, with the look and shit versus that just throwing it on and going to grab some over here or pulling up over here. It's I like, say that's with everything because some of the shit that you might say might just be jewelry. Right. So if you say that to the wrong nigga, Right. You know what I'm saying? It, he might right. not even catch it or grasp it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So it's game. like it's the same concept. Like, yeah. why would I put this jewelry on and I'm going to, you know, uh, the grocery store with my family? Right, don't make sense. Why? Who am I yeah. shining for? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. I'm going yeah. to pick up groceries. Right, right. And I think we need to know that the young boys need to know that for sure, man. Yeah, you, it's good to have it. It's yeah. good to show it and everything. But it's like you know, it's a time and place for everything. Right, for sure. I appreciate you stopping by, man. Turbo, man. Pick that game up. Do something with it, man. Biggest podcast in history. Let's get it.